What's up, what's up guys? Welcome back to Bash Brothers Fishing DMV. This is part two to our Berk Lake fishing video. Hope you like it. I'm very excited to bring this to you. Just finished the edits. If you missed part one, click this link right here. Part one was absolutely crazy. We had some of the best top water action all year long. Blow ups everywhere, a lot of fun. Check that out. Part two continued right where we left off and I'm excited to say I caught my very first snakehead. When I think about how we handle that catch, I don't know if I wanna laugh laugh or cry guys it was crazy we have a lot more videos coming up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave us a like without further delay guys let's get into it part two begins right now whopper you were good to me you whopped them this water looks like glass all right guys we're starting to get some rain we'll see what that does for the bite we're gonna keep fishing Ah, nah, grass. Something's biting that. Wait. No, don't jump. All right, hooked up on the Kai Tech. Whee! Got him on the Kai Tech. Switched over to a swim jig. I mean, a swim bait. Little dinky do. See you, buddy. Yeah, man, this is what you call officially getting rid of the skunk big time. Just started raining and caught one right after. Is there a link? Maybe. Here we go again. Twin snakes. Um, yeah, damn it, I didn't know at all. He had it for, he had it for a minute. Yeah, he had it for a minute. Ooh. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh! Fish, that was at least a three pounder. Three, all the way. Oh my gosh! Oh my God. <laughs> Damn! Oh my God, that was a nice size. I never fish. set the hook properly. Yeah. I was watching you fix that. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh! I saw that thing jump. That was a three. That three is. pounder gone. I should have did a secondary set. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was a nice oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, get over it, cast again. I didn't know, he. I, did, I wasn't even moving my bait. I think he just picked it up off the ground. Maybe I'll catch him again. Oh, that was a sweet fish. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I can always tell when you hook a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Got one on the crankbait. Got one on the crank. Ah, troubles. Yeah, I threw it out. I stole it out straight in front of us. What is that? Oh my gosh, he's got a he's got a fish in it. This is a feisty guy. So I don't know if you guys can see the tail sticking out of his gullet. This is a greedy guy. Hopefully you can see that. You're a greedy little dink, you know that? That's why his belly's so fat. Alright, buddy. I don't know. I <laughs> I can't even, I, don't know, I lost count back when we were having fun with the <laughs> plopper. Just caught one on this crankbait, decided to go with chartreuse since that worked early on the top water. Picked up a little dink, greedy guy. Had a fish tail sticking out of his gullet. Might as well put this away. Hey, yeah. sure I got this on max, what? Let me see something real quick. Oh, I was just I was just messing around. I was just messing around. This is one of the days you can't do wrong. Oh my gosh, I just cast it behind us because I wanted to yeah. check my drag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Too funny. Oh yeah, don't get married. Don't get married. Good. That's funny. <laughs> Big fest. He has a fish in it too? What is that? Maybe that's that's grass. Here we go. <laughs> well, to say the least, this is an action-packed day. A lot of fish for feeding are aggressive today. Caught this guy right here, little guy. But this overcast is working great for us. The fish are just staying active. Been about, well, actually, I just missed a three-pounder, or did I just catch one? No, nice, nice. Okay, let's go, let's go behind us. All right, they're blowing up behind us. Gonna throw this guy back. I don't have any top water tied on. I don't know where it was, right here? Right 
Oh, I didn't even see it, but I felt it. Oh, my drag is messed up. I was looking at my reel. All right, guys. <laughs> today is a day. Today is a day. We are out here just picking off fish left, right, and center. I didn't even see, I wasn't even looking, Warren, and I felt the weight. I wish I saw it because half the fun is just seeing it. Yeah. All right, guys. Fish number, blah, 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 because I don't even know, but we're having fun out here. It's nice. Top water. Went back to the top water. Warren saw some blow ups behind the boat, spun us around, tied on the whopper really quick, and landed this guy. I went two years without catching on a whopper flopper, and I've caught. Wait. I, I know. I wasn't looking again. I missed it. Yeah. Oh, he's. get a chance to set that hook. He is about to rip. Damn it, yo. All right. Let him rip his own face off then. Yeah, he's a. That's twice on this thumb. Okay, bleeding some more. Good call. You said. Uh, Soft point. Yep. Yep. Got another one. Quick cutter. So I was looking at this soft point over here. We're actually moving to another cove and saw this soft point over there and decided to throw what has obviously been the color of the day, which is uh, chartreuse. This chatterbait uh, did have a tail on there one time with this razor shad trailer and hooked up this little guy. He took it pretty quickly too, so quickly that I didn't even realize he was on there. We're gonna continue the theme of chartreuse today. Naeem has caught like 11 fish, probably eight of them on chartreuse. <laughs> but uh, thank you for biting, little guy. Head back to the water. Yeah, I'm letting you go, you can go. Snakehead corner, you getting ready to catch your first snakehead? So hold up in here for a little bit. See if we could just, you still trolling? Let's hold up in here, see if we can pull a snakehead out. Snakehead goes goes for more crankbaits, all right? Hard bait? They go for crank and uh, jerk baits. I mean, they've gone top water too. I just saw something swirling around over there. I'm gonna try, try to jerk around in here. Too bad this rod can't cast or shit. Nice calm water. Mm-hmm. Oh snakehead! Get the, yeah. It's black. It's big and black. Alright, get the net. Get the grippers too, the, the big white ones. Oh yeah. Snakehead. Ooh, he is huge. Oh my god, bro. You just said. Got a first snakehead, guys. This boy is huge. Just just scoop him however you can. Got a big snake head. Yep. Nice. Oh my goodness. Here we nice. go. Nice. First snake head just said it. He hasn't got wild yet. He's about to. Woo! All right. Where's the lip grippers? All right, I'll get mine. Man got a snake head. Just oh said God. it. He tied on the perfect bait and got him a snake head. Is he going home to eat? Ah, nah. He said, nah. Oh, man, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> what? I'll pull him out. He's going to get wild. These, ones, these guys get wild. He's going to mess up your, um, what it's you right. call it? I'm not worried about that. All right, you want to do the honors? You going to grab him? Woo! You going to grip him? Nah. I'm pulling his mouth up. There you go. He ain't opening up. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Very, very, very. Is there, is there a hook out? Yeah. All right, I got him on. I got him against a chair. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, but we can't get him off of him. I'm not putting my hand in there. Uh, nah, I'm not, I can't put my hand there. Yeah, I got him against the chair, so he ain't gonna go nowhere. He just ain't opening his mouth. I never want to catch these fish. It's in the net. Okay. Uh, if I lift him, he's too slimy to lift him up. If I try to lift him up, he's gonna shake out of my hand. I can't get his mouth open. Yeah, he's not opening up his mouth. He's too slimy. I'm telling you, if I try to pick him up, he's going. No, no, I know. Watch out. Uh, don't let go. You gonna try getting his gill plate? I'm trying to get him. 
shit. Ah, I told you he's slimy as hell. Oh, my bad, yo. Flossy snake head. My bad, yo. Yo, Phil, Phil. No, I know, no, no, I know. Bruh. I know. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's all good. It's all good. We couldn't get the mouth open. All right, guys, you guys just saw my first snakehead catch. That thing was huge. We've never handled a snakehead before. Uh, the, he would not open his mouth up, and he eventually slivered away. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my net's all broken up. Yeah, th those guys are wild, man. Those guys <laughs> are wild. So next time we leave him in the net until we get his mouth under control. Yeah, he wasn't opening his mouth at all. Yeah. At all. It's all good, man. Man, you called it, man. You said, let me get a snake here. Sure enough. Nah, man. I mean, shoot, if you weren't here, I'd have did worse. Live and learn. That fish was big. Nah, yeah. That guy was big. Oh, man. All right. That's what you call uh, inexper inexperience. Yep. But we live and learn. So, all right, guys. That was an experience. Hooking up on our first snakehead. Didn't really know how to handle the fish. That thing was huge and very strong. I was trying to get Warren's help. He had it pinned down in the chair. The fish wouldn't open his mouth, so that was the biggest problem. I was trying to get my lip grippers in there to, to uh, control the fish, but that wasn't working. Any of you know how to handle snakehead fish? Leave a comment below. Let us know what we should have did differently. Couldn't get the mouth, the fish's mouth open, and he eventually squirmed his way out the boat. So, think we'll get another one. Oh, we're gonna get another. One. It's been a crazy day, very crazy day. Fish are very active. We're very happy about that. Let's see if we can hook another one, guys. Hooked up on that snakehead on this KVD jerk bait. Dives about seven feet down. Has a little chartreuse on it. Sexy shad. <laughs> All that talk before coming over here, and we actually hooked one. Ah, uh, drop shot. Whoa, there goes my bait. It's got hooked on a drop shot. Completely got hooked. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this one. Cause you know, you are the gut hook removing master. This guy's gut hooks are gonna try to save him, turn the hook and pull it out. Got him out safe and sound. Little cookie cutter dink on a drop shot. He's got a little fat belly. We almost doubled up. You got one? I don't think so. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Bye-bye. Here we go again. Nine, I got a million nibbles. Got him. Dinky dink. Mm -hmm. He was right here. All right, these little ones be feisty, feisty. Look. Dude, relax. Stop. I'm trying to help you out right now. Look at him, man. <laughs> this is what was bothering my worm, this little guy. All right, later, a little fish McNugget. I dipped the chartreuse and look what happened. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Got him. Ah, it came off. Or he might be so small. No, he's still on there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't tell, bro. Look at that, man. <laughs> yeah. Catching fish McNuggets over here. All right. We're not going to cast in that direction again. Try to go in a different direction. I fished out the dinks out of all of those fish that were spotted on the fish finder. Only the dinks will bite. The big fish is like, yeah, I'll go ahead and bite that if you want. Mm -hmm. Watch them take it right here. Yeah. At the boat. I, little dink. I watched him take it, man. <laughs> really, dude? Get out my... Oh, my gosh. He's over there hanging out with you. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. You're going to hurt yourself, buddy. Yeah, he wanted a... He, he thought he was getting some food. If this is a fish, he's got to like have it guck hook and down his out his butt. I came off. Look at that ball of bait fish right there. 
So today has been really good. It's about four o'clock right now. We've been out here since 6.30 a.m. Can't complain, caught fish on multiple baits. We're gonna see what the evening bite is like. Still trying to get over missing that snakehead. That was tough. That thing was huge. I don't know if you guys could really tell how big that was on the GoPro. But that thing was ginormous. Also lost a three pounder. Actually, we're heading to the spot where that happened. See if we can find them. Get them. Part two to the day. Let's go. Fishing marathon. Throwing the Guggen Base trench hog. Come on, y'all. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You cannot be swimming towards me all that time. <laughs> Warren, gut hook has to be. I'm laughing because. The, the whole time. time. No, he ain't gonna. He right at the lip. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Look at that. You got him perfect though. Oh my gosh. Well, he saw me. He said, stop playing with me. She's like, ah, you know what a real man is all good. Just started to do our second half of the day. Hooked up on this guy's second cast on the Guggen Bait Trench Hog. I'm telling you, that's going to be one of my favorite baits. This guy has a little fat belly, man. He's a small guy with a fat belly. Look at that. You're going to be a big mama. Just keep eating. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You want to get back in the boat? The nice thing about the trench hog is it's big, but it's lightweight. I think that's what I like about it the most. Got him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hooked up on the Ned Rig. Fish number 500-2. He said 500 dash too. Yeah. All right, guys. So second half of the day, we are started up again. I hadn't caught on the net all day. Guess what I just found? One volunteer. Wow. Roof of the mouth. So far, it's up in his brain. So this guy decided to start the second half of the day off. He's a nugget. Another little nugget. Have fun. On the Ned. Hadn't caught on the Ned. Haven't been skunked on the Ned in a while. Neither has it happened today. Going back in. Hopefully I can get something bigger. That was the actually first fish I've caught on a Ned. A Robo Ned Morning Dawn. Normally I fish Z-Man. Wanted to try out the Robo Worm. Just caught on it. You want to go up to that, that opening? Where? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw your rod tip bend like a mug. You, got the, you probably set too quick. Yep. He's on mine now. <laughs> yeah, he's small. He's small, but he's pulling pretty good. Stop it. Stop it. Behave. All right. Drop shot catch number i think this is my second drop shot fish today he felt good look at him chunky all the small ones that are aggressive have big bellies look at that greedy bugger all right here we go mr bassy see you later buddy uh, he left your bait and went to mine or oh, we would have doubled up was that amazing or what guys we started off this morning had a mission mission accomplished get rid of my triple skunk and we did just that and then some that top water bite was amazing today it was crazy no doubt we saw schooling fish they were feeding feeding frenzy kicked off we became a part of that and hooked up with i don't know how many fish caught my first whopper plopper fish today that was actually great try to get it in on a skunk bait video that i did months ago i'll leave a link for that right now also got on my first snakehead, which was absolutely thrilling. I mean, that was crazy. It was huge. Don't know if you could see that great on the GoPro, but it was huge. We didn't quite know how to handle it. You saw what happened in the video. We will learn from this and be better at it next time. That snakehead said, I'm out of here. All good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can see when we upload every video. Leave us a comment leave us a like all right please do that for us let us know what you think we will see you next time bash brothers out deuces